what's going on guys um, welcome to Corywood and welcome to the next um, video on um, learning uh, bootstrap step by step uh, in the last uh, in the first video we have seen uh, these um, buttons in uh, salon which we created and this is the um, the layout the website which we created in the index uh, so in this uh, video we're going to see how we create navigation bar so navigation bar inside this uh, um bootstrap so navigation bar navigation bar what is navigation bar anyway so we see that navigation bar should show up here navigation bar is a menu you guys see that uh, on top of this uh, menu you guys see on every website there is a menu here there is a nice layout there is a search uh, uh, search bar here or anything that goes up and down is called toggle so that's how the navigation bar uh, works in uh, bootstrap and it's a lot easier you guys create that without even uh, using CSS so how we do that you guys go and create your uh, nav bar so that's nav uh, and inside this um, sublime text very clever as soon as you guys uh, put a nav it comes in and as you, as I explained before uh, inside the bootstrap everything is class so you guys put a nav bar the simple line is nav bar and nav bar nav nav bar nav bar nav that's was uh, that's a simple line that was the old uh, bootstrap and now they changed a little bit so now nav bar and uh, nav bar and the second one the first one is we instructing the bootstrap to put a nav bar and the second one if you put an x bar expand x expand lg so what what is this expand it's not expand 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 lg it means you be expanding from uh, from left to right so that's that's how nav bar expand lg is all right so uh, nav bar light bg light so the third one is nav bar light bg light bg light all right so we go ahead and check that's what it is there is a light faint line here if you guys can see that's our uh, bg light all right so you guys can create the uh, say h1 uh, my nav bar nav bar all right so we want to see this one to expand see you guys see there is a line here my nav bar all right so with this uh, nav bar you guys can uh, this is not the only one you guys can do nav bar dark dark and bg primary so primary all right so we see what's uh, nav bar so you guys see that the nav bar uh, that's how the primary bg dark uh, works and you guys can do the first one bg dark and the second one is bg dark as well as long as it suits you guys all right so how the bg dark looks like that's how the bg dark look like uh, so the first one is light then uh, dark bg primary and now we can do this uh, uh, dark as well or you guys can uh, put a instead of bg dark can put your style can put a style and inside this style you can put your uh, background color so uh, style back ground okay so I'm not I'll have to be outside of this class okay so I'll get out of the class that's what is uh, not showing uh, so instead of BG dark I'm gonna put a style that wasn't coming that's why it wasn't coming BG color you guys can put any color you like say you guys want to put a red BG dark and we want to put a red 
and you guys see that's turned red it, anything you guys like so uh so we bg dark we remove this um red and we want to go bg primary all right so bg primary so this is the basic uh, of the bootstrap uh, navigation bar and you guys see that's a change just just you guys didn't even use this uh, css just navbar navbar expand lg and navbar dark bg primary or navbar light bg light or any other bg color all right so after this we go and create this uh, h1 we remove this and we want to put our uh, the name of our website normally it's home here but because anchor text we leave it uh, empty and inside this we can create our uh, say i'm going to put a little bit down or you guys can see say um salon or uh, you guys can put a cool salon or uh, anything you guys like the name of the website you guys can put it here and because the the color of this is uh, uh, this blue and that's what we don't see it okay so now we go there navbar dark navbar light we put a navbar light say bg light bg light because we want to see our uh, see there is a faint uh, color here uh, you guys so now we work with this uh, navbar light bg light because it's a lot easier if i type something so you guys can see all right so in href we create this salon and inside this one uh, we created uh, create class navbar brand class we say navbar we already typed brand because we're telling the youth bootstrap that uh, we're intending to create our uh, brand all right so inside this you can guys can put it even image any image you like you guys like say um, uh, bootstrap image i don't have any image all right so you guys can put your image beside this uh, um, inside this img image so we go and check okay so we don't have any image because i'm gonna put some image and i'm gonna show you guys how to put your image inside this uh, we go and use the previous image from uh, our website you guys can put any image you like so we go cool shop because we have some images here and you guys see we had this uh, logo which we want to copy uh, windows is a bit slow okay so we come here and we go to our uh, salon because that's what we work in working asset in our inside this asset we do control v okay shop logo so I'm going to show you guys how you're going to create your image. With the image, you guys just um, create IMG. Okay, so you guys can create your eye. Put, just put this one a little bit down. Get rid of this for a moment. And we'll put IMG. And we don't put anything in. Sorry, we put a uh where is this uh, img uh, is it inside the asset yes asset img asset img and uh, shop logo png shop shop logo dot png all right so inside this we put a height 30 uh, we put a width we put a 30 and class 
uh, we put a D in line D in line and we put a line top a line if you put it on top and on the alt you guys need to put alt if you want my shop logo that's what you guys put on alternative if the photo logo not low I there is a typo here all right so we want to go and see our uh, picture if it's there is a small photo here you guys can uh, put it say uh, BG height is uh, 40 and width is 42 uh, 40 okay it's a little bit you guys can put a 50 see what the 50 looks like you don't have to put this image you guys can put your own image here you don't know. that's how the 50 looks like all right so we go in uh, type um, my shop say so put a my shop beside it that's how that's your logo and that's your my shop all right so when this one's done we go and create this uh, button we go down and we create a button so it's button and we put a class uh, nav bar toggler nav bar t o g g l e r toggler what is toggler toggler is um, uh, you guys see when you guys press uh, home it toggles it moves here and there it opens the thing so sometimes you guys see on uh, Google or something there is a three line here once you press the button the menu goes in so when uh, once we create this bootstrap I'm gonna go on the admin and we create the admin page at the back end and we see I'm gonna show you guys how to put this uh, toggler and it's very useful never toggler and uh, bootstrap uh, made these things a uh, big headache very easy so with just a few lines of code you guys can create this um, uh, animation so this one button is a uh, navbar toggler it roll uh, is button because uh, we want this to be button and data toggle data toggle collapse all right so we see if our buttons showing our buttons there but it's not showing all right so the data toggle is equal to collapse and we want to put a span span and we put the span class navbar toggler icon class navigation bar toggler icon all right so we see our buttons is somewhere around here but I think it's the same color all right so data toggle is equal to collapse and we put a uh, data target right so we put a there's a little bit left for this uh, button data target okay so we put a hash uh, navbar supported icon content navbar so for tit content so navbar supported content and we put an area area expand is equal to false false with, because we don't want to expand the area and 
so expanded it should be expanded sorry it should be expanded area data target navbar supported content and area expanded uh, is equal to false and area label toggle navigation area label label is equal to toggle navigation navigation all right okay so we leave this our button is created and underneath we create a div and we want to assign uh, navbar supported uh, data target so we want to target this uh, div because our button is created and we are giving the button all this necessary information and we're targeting this data supported content because uh, we don't want the area expanded and our area label is toggle navigation okay i'm going to show you guys uh, what it means to target the data all right so div class uh, collapse navbar collapse collapse navbar collapse collapse all right so id and id is navbar supported content because it's here we put the same id here okay and inside this div now we're coming to our uh, an order list ul we checking everything is working so far so good yes so far so good okay so what's a ul ul is an order list in the first video in html we see that uh, we i'll explain that the ul is uh, inside here all this menu comes in layout so you guys can put a ul an order list you guys can put an order list but order list uh, there is a uh, serial number comes in like one two three four five whatever you guys do but we want an order list so an order list we put a class uh, navbar navbar nav navbar nav so navbar nav and mr auto mr auto that's our uh, ul uh, class and inside uh, ul we put a few list okay i'm gonna put in one line and inside this uh, li class nav item class nav not a nav item item and we put an active nav item and we put an active and inside it um, we put a home see our home our home is here that's our uh, ul showing up all right so in but if you guys want um, to go from home so you guys can put anchor text around this home so once you guys uh, go and hover you see that the hand and it's ready to take you from uh, this page to the next page so as we explained the anchor text if you put an a and we close our a here around this home it becomes a uh, anchor text now say href and if you guys in the, in the href you guys have, can put https www.google.com you guys can put anything but because uh, we are just uh, developing the web uh, we don't put anything at the moment we'll just leave a hash so you guys see it becomes um, active now um, and that's href is all right so with the href we put a class nav link class nav navigation link because that's a link that's our link 
and we put beside this home uh, is pen as we put on top we put a span and inside this span we put a class okay sr sr only and we put a current because we put this one as a current all right so our uh, thing is done our the first uh, list is done see this one okay so we go there another nav item and it's nav link and we put a uh, something else so the first one is uh, I'm gonna put it a little bit down nav item you guys can put a say product uh, your product and in here you put a nav item same whatever uh, you guys put you guys in uh, list you guys put a, should put a nav item because you want to uh, bootstrap to see this as a nav bar item so uh, we put anchor text again here it's a good idea to put your anchor text href and in here we put a product all right so we come here and copy that and we paste it a few times we bring this li very close to this one okay so and we put a this uh, nav uh, item and this time if you guys want to put a drop down so it's a product and product we see that our products here the product product because it's very close so we nav bar nav item so nav item okay so in class is nav link so nav item we haven't put a class in a we want to let the bootstrap nav link okay so in this one also class so I'm gonna make stay class nav link okay so another product say you guys can put a login or uh, you guys can put my gallery gallery you guys can put anything you like say it's home and we put a gallery product and gallery here all right